Badlands, Wikipedia article audio. Badlands are a type of dry terrain where softer sedimentary rocks and clay-rich soils have been extensively eroded by wind and water. They are characterized by steep slopes, minimal vegetation, lack of a substantial regolith, and high drainage density. They can resemble malpais, a terrain of volcanic rock. Canyons, ravines, gullies, buttes, mesas, hoodoos, and other such geologic forms are common in badlands. They are often difficult to navigate by foot. Badlands often have a spectacular color display that alternates from dark black slash blue coal stria to bright clays to red scoria. Badlands are partially characterized by their thin to non-existent regolith layers. The regolith profiles of badlands in arid climates are likely to resemble one another. In these regions, the upper layer is typically composed of silt, shale, and sand. This layer can form either a compact crust or a looser, more irregular aggregation of popcorn fragments. Located beneath the top layer is a sublayer, below which can be found a transitional shard layer formed largely of loose disaggregated shale chips, which in turn eventually gives way to a layer of unweathered shale. Badlands such as those found in the Mancos Shale, the Brule Formation, the Chadron Formation, and the Dinosaur Provincial Park can be generally said to fit this profile. Composition Formation In less arid regions, the regolith profile can vary considerably. Some badlands have no regolith layer whatsoever, capping instead in bare rock such as sandstone. Others have a regolith with a clay veneer, and still others have a biological crust of algae or lichens. In addition to lacking significant regolith, they also lack much vegetation. The lack of vegetation could very well be a result of the lack of a substantial regolith. The formation of badlands is a result of two processes, deposition and erosion. The process of deposition describes the accumulation, over time, of layers of mineral material. Different environments such as seas, rivers, or tropical zones, deposit different sorts of clays silts, and sand. For instance, the Badlands formations in Badlands National Park, South Dakota, United States underwent a 47 million year period of deposition which spanned three major geologic periods, resulting in clear, distinct layers of sediment which serve as a dramatic display of the law of superposition. Once the deposited sediments have solidified, the sedimentary material becomes subject to erosion. It is sometimes erroneously taught that badlands erode at a steady rate of about one inch per year. In actuality, the precise processes by which the erosion responses take place vary depending on the precise interbedding of the sedimentary material. In 2010, Researchers at Badlands National Park initiated a three-year project to learn more about the actual erosion rate of the specific badlands found in that park. Some of the best-known badland formations can be found in Canada and the United States. In the U.S., Makashika State Park in Montana and Badlands National Park in South Dakota together form a series of extensive badland formations. Among the Henry Mountains area, about 1500m above sea level, Cretaceous and Jurassic aged shales are exposed. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is a United States national park composed of three geographically separated areas of badlands in western North Dakota and was named for U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt. Another popular area of badland formations is Toadstool Geologic Park in the Oglala National Grassland of northwestern Nebraska. 
Dinosaur National Monument in Colorado and Utah are also Badlands settings. A small badland called Hell's Half Acre is present in Natrona County, Wyoming. Additional badlands also exist in various places throughout southwest Wyoming, such as near Pinedale and in the Bridger Valley near the towns of Lyman and Mountain View, near the High Uinta Mountains. El Malpais National Monument in western New Mexico is named after the Spanish word Malpais, meaning bad lands. Locations The Big Muddy Badlands in Saskatchewan, Canada, gained notoriety as a hideout for outlaws. There is a large badland area in Alberta, Canada, particularly in the valley of the Red Deer River where Dinosaur Provincial Park is located, as well as in Drumheller, where the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology is located. A well-known badlands formation in New Zealand the Putangarua Pinnacles, formed by the erosion of the conglomerate of an old alluvial fan is located at the head of a small valley near the southern tip of the North Island. Image Gallery other badlands can be found in Italy, known as Calanchi. Some examples include Aliano, Basilicata, and Val di Orsha, Tuscany. The Bardenas Reels near Tudela, Navarre, and the Tabernas Desert in Tabernas, Almeria, and possible Los Monegros in Aragon, all of them in Spain, are examples in Europe. The Valle de la Luna is one of many examples of badland formations in midwestern Argentina. This geologic formation is the only place in the world where nearly all of the Triassic is represented in an undisturbed sequence of rock deposits. The badlands of the Gudinkung Formation in southern Taiwan are the only example of badlands in a tropical climate. The formation has a thickness of 3-4 km and covers over 100,000 hectares. Although most badland scenery is natural, there are some examples produced by mining, such as the Roman gold mine of Las Medulas in northern Spain. An example of badlands produced by poor farming practices is the Cheltenham Badlands in Caledon, Ontario. Badlands near Drumheller, Alberta Badlands of Hell's Half Acre, Natrona County, Wyoming Panoramic view of Las Medulas, Spain Valle de la Luna, San Juan, Argentina Badlands incised into shale at the foot of the North Caneville Plateau, Utah within the pass carved by the Fremont River known as the Blue Gate. Badlands National Park, South Dakota Badlands in Eastern Montana